guys so i'm like studying but i just wanted to show you there's like some people i think on the men's soccer team probably they're like filming the video right now with like a drone it's pretty intense i'll show you oh is the drone not there anymore oh that guy just picked it up right there <laughs> they're just like kicking the ball like in the bleachers to like over here cool stuff this is what i've been doing So I just figured I would show you guys what's been like helping my back, like my lower back issues because like it really has been helping so if it could help any of you, I'll show you what's been helping me. So I have four like electrodes for my TENS unit and then obviously you have to turn it on. And this helps so I can study because usually sitting is like my big aggravator so this is definitely a necessity for finals <laughs> guys spotify came out with like your top songs of 2016 i literally love it i'm like so happy so i'm listening to that and studying for some econ i should probably have breakfast soon but i'm not like hungry i don't know we'll see <laughs> So the song is called Paint by the Paper Kites and I forgot I was honestly obsessed with it for like so long this year so it makes sense that it's on my top songs of 2015. I think it's in my rain playlist which is like kind of like a more calm like playlist I feel like I try to like divide them by that. Highly recommend listening to it. And I also didn't start vlogging yet today because I got up like seconds before I had to like run into an Uber to go to my law review because I got up at like 9.45 and the review started at like 10. So I made it. I made it. I don't know how, but I always end up making it. Like my Uber ride was like five minutes long. So it was just really quick and your girl made it. Me and Taylor are just studying for finals today. And I'm going to say the question of the day right in the beginning. Did you realize I've been so bad with the question of the day? Yeah. Mia texted me, and this is such a good one, and it's, are you a tea person or a coffee person? And for me, 100% tea. I hate coffee. Coffee is just so gross to me. Like, I feel like I'm just a the little kid. it makes me nauseous. It literally is, like, bitter and just gross. Like, it doesn't taste good, and I feel like maybe when I'm an adult, I'll like, no, I don't even want it when I'm an adult. I'm already 19, and I just... I feel like I'm never gonna like it. I just don't like it. The smell of it, ew, and like your breath after, like, I wouldn't even know because I don't drink it, but like my friend's breath after. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just think coffee's gross. So, comment down below are you a tea person or a coffee person? I really like green tea or like tea bonnet tea when I'm at the mall. I'll get like a cup. I prefer cold tea. Me too. I like like I peach tea. Cold peach tea. That was our favorite. We're gonna make smoothie bowls. Like, alright, because I'm starving. I didn't even eat because I just. Threw on a sweatshirt and ran out the door. I didn't even brush my hair. That's why it's been so naughty. I was in the dirty pig. I was wondering. I was in law review and I was just trying to like play with my hair and I'm like, my fingers can't even go That's through this. Happening. It's because I forgot to brush. I keep forgetting to brush it. Anyway, I'm gonna go make a smoothie walls. Yay! Oh, the lens cover is like covering it. I can see it, but I dropped it. I dropped it, so it's like covering it a little bit. Dang it. Okay, sorry guys if there's like black around the sides, but I just made me and Taylor smoothie bowls and literally I tried the smoothie and they're so good. I just used carrot powder, acai powder, frozen bananas, chocolate almond milk, peanut butter, and I think that's it. And then I just did goji berries, banana, uh, peanut butter, cacao nibs, and granola. And I use these cacao nibs, in case you're wondering, and I just have been trying out this new kind granola and it's so good. Well, it's new to me and I really like it. So yeah. Lucy and Annie, you guys look so cute. I was gonna go to dinner with them, but I just woke up and I'm really tired. Uh -huh. I fell asleep all afternoon, so what's new? <laughs> Lucy, show your dress, it's really cute. It has like scallops. I love it that it's like a scallop. And I curled my hair. You know, I haven't washed yeah. uh, <laughs> What are you doing, Taylor? Are you drinking <laughs> applesauce? Are you having broccoli, Gretchen? No, I'm making some of your Brussels sprouts for myself. <laughs> Did I say I was okay? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll eat some. Hi, Anna. Hi. Guys, Anna just taught us for final season. You can Anna. study while on the treadmill. Can I put you on my set? Literally so smart. This fine pizza. See this fine pizza cake? She's single, man. I haven't studied for anything but econ yet. So after my econ test, I'm going to be like cramming so hard for um, 
my medical ethics because I need to read everything. <laughs> Tiffany. Newberry. Boston Commons. Wow. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, my Wait, are these okay. stairs over here? I don't. Oh, yeah, probably. We're trying to figure out how to get in. Because <laughs> it's on the second floor. Oh, wait, yeah. There's an arrow. Perhaps. Aha. Aha. A little sketchy. Mm -hmm. Definitely not weird. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> All right. I can't believe Gretchen's shoes fit. It's like the stairway to heaven right here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Literally. No end in sight, but it's okay. <laughs> Gosh, it's so cute. Guys, I'm really excited. We're at this like really cute place. It's like not very crowded, but it's cute. <laughs> and there's like plants and stuff. And like we're by the road, and it's so cool. I like it on the second floor. I wasn't sure. I know, because we were like, ah, how do we get up here? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just super weird, but it's so cool. Poinsettia, though. Those are the Christmassy ones that my dad always gets. <laughs> It's I'm so massive. It's, it's like so good. In, it's like curry, like in avocado. Like, yeah, there's like a whole avocado under here. Yeah. So I love avocados. And the tofu and the rice. And we got like these spring rolls. That look good. And Lucy's whole coconut is coming. I know, I got a whole coconut. Like, who am I? <laughs> This place is so cute. Like, I just like devoured my food. I think I like vlogged some of it. And put look at my curls. Like, it actually came out really well. And it didn't take long at all. The light. I'm feeling it. And like the walls. <laughs> I think they also have like vegan like carrot cake. So we might be doing that. But also like we need to go to the Nutcracker soon. I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, I didn't show you my dress. I don't think. Oh, I think Gretchen tried to. But um. So it's just from Urban Outfitters, and so this is the top. I think it's so cute, and it, I think it has scallops on the back of the top too. It's like kind of a shift dress. Um, what well is a shift dress? Yeah, like I really like it. And I'm wearing Daniel Wellington watch Gretchen gave me. Oh, and I'm wearing like Gretchen's like wedges. Don't know how they fit me, but we're good. <laughs> Guys, this is like my third bowl. It's so good. I made a bunch of brown rice, some hummus, my sriracha sauce you guys know I love, a sweet potato, and this is just black bean soup, and it's like my favorite ever, and I just like put it on top of the rice because it's kind of like a sauce, and it's so good. I wish I had avocado, but yummy. So guys, do you hear my Christmas music? I've been trying to like do my homework today, and I don't know if I said I like fell asleep, so that's really good. And then Lucy woke me up, and it was like dark out. I think I slept from probably like 1.30 or 2.30 to like 4.30, and I was like, where am I? Why have I been doing my whole work? I've just been trying to do stats. Who is in stats like this? I don't know if you can like see my formulas and stuff. It's like managerial statistics or something and honestly i thought it was going to be so hard going into the semester because i've never taken a statistics course like in my life like i feel like everyone's at least taking statistics and stuff like in high school but i've never taken it but actually out of all my classes it's the easiest which is so surprising i took like a career seminar class i took an organizational behavior class i took an accounting class i took statistics and i took a law class and yeah statistics is definitely the easiest out of all of them but i just have to like crack down and make sure i can do the practice tests and like do all the problems and then i feel like i should be fine but anyway Oh, can I show you guys? I'm literally gonna get it so I can show you. All right, so, dorm living right here. I don't know if you guys know, but I normally like just drink water. Like, I mean, Taylor talked about it earlier, but like, really the only drink that I drink that isn't water is like tea occasionally, and that's literally like once a month. Like, I don't even drink tea that much. But I remember like in high school, Lucy and I would always drink cram palms. So then the other day when we were at the grocery, I saw this and I was like, I want cram palm. And I just had my first cup, and it literally tastes like candy, because if you're not used to drinking, drinks that aren't water then it just tastes so good so i've not tried cram pom it's 
definitely trying it. Also, I've been so bad. I hate to admit this because it's like honestly embarrassing and I just, my priorities, I need to just get my priorities together. You know what I mean? Probably some of you can relate. Look, I know stuff that's important that I have to do, but I still am online shopping and I'm still scrolling through YouTube and I'm still playing like games on my phone and I've never been like a game type person and I just want to say right now, this isn't sponsored by Best Fiends because I feel like so many YouTubers do videos that are sponsored by Best Fiends, which is cool. And probably some people, I don't know if like everyone actually plays it, you know, but like I actually love it. Like this isn't sponsored by them, but I just wanted to show you guys like literally this is what I've been doing all day. This is what I've been obsessed with. I'm on like level a million, I feel like, because I just love it. And, like when I'm home, me and my dad always play it. Like he's on like level a million too. He's actually probably past me and it's just so fun. And oh, you know what? That reminds me. I'm like in the middle of a game right now, but can we just have a little chat real quick? I'm going to turn down the music. Okay. So, sponsored videos. I made a whole video about this actually last fall, I believe, like last winter, about sponsored videos because I was getting a lot of negative comments and like feedback from sponsored videos. And I just want to reiterate once again because I've been working with brands, I would say quite frequently recently, but I want to let you guys know when I responded to some comments like this today, I only work with brands that I really like and that I really enjoy their products because... I would never recommend a brand to you guys that I don't actually like. So, like, literally, I feel like everyone does, like, Best Fiends, like, sponsorships. But I actually love playing their game. Like, that is what I've been doing all day instead of doing my stats homework. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I literally just work with brands that I really love. And, like, right now I know I, like, worked with Neutrogena. And I just put up a video with Pantene. And everyone's like, oh, my gosh, I feel like all your videos are sponsored. But if you guys, okay, can I just, like, put it in just perspective for you guys? If you guys use Pantene shampoo and conditioner for so long, like, for me, like, I've used them forever like I'm always like changing up my shampoo and conditioner but those have always been like a favorite and like a staple that I've always like gone back to so if Pantene reaches out to you and it's like do you want to work together I'm like heck yeah I want to like is that a joke like of course like if it's like products that you love you know what I'm saying like if that was like an opportunity for you like you wouldn't say no so I just want to like make that clear because I feel like everyone's always like oh my god like sponsor videos blah, blah blah but like I only work with brands that I really like just to say it again for the people in the back. Also another thing I you know I really haven't talked about this like at all on YouTube but I might as well just tell you guys because like whatever obviously YouTube is sort of like a business and I hate thinking about it like that. I truly do because for me when it gets too businessy I stop enjoying it as much and I literally just started YouTube for fun my freshman year of high school and you know recently so many people have asked me like what is your goals with YouTube like what do you want to do like how do you want to grow your channel all this stuff and like when people bring up those questions to me and ask me I immediately get kind of like uncomfortable and I'm like oh like I don't want to think about it because like it shouldn't have to be a stressful thing but for me I don't know, it just is, and, like, I like YouTube just for, like, the fun of it. Like, I literally just have so much fun, like, filming videos and putting them out there and giving your guys, like, nice feedback and, like, connecting with you and stuff. Like, that's what I like about YouTube, and I don't like having to worry about, like, that's why I don't have a schedule for my videos, for example. Like, a schedule to me makes it too, like, structured and businessy, and then I feel like I have to do it instead of, like, want to do it, so that's why I don't have a schedule for my videos. I mean, unless, of course, it's, like, Vlogmas when I post every day, but, like, I love posting videos every day. Ugh, I digress, I'm getting off topic. But basically, I feel like nowadays... I mean, I don't really know, but probably there are some YouTubers out there that aren't really in it for the right reasons, you know, and people just, like, want money, so when I see comments that people are like, oh my gosh, I feel like you're just, like, in it for the money, it's like, no, like, oh my gosh, like, when it gets too much about the money for me, I just stop, I won't post a video, I won't want to do it, because it's just not fun for me, and, like, I just want this to be fun, and I don't know where I want to go with my channel, I don't want to be an actress, I don't want to go into production, I don't want to move to LA and, like, do what everyone else does, you know what I mean, like, I really value my education, that's why I'm at BU, which is such a great university, and... What I was going to say is, I don't know if you guys know, but Boston University is an extremely expensive college. And I know, like, all colleges are so expensive, but BU is, like, really high up there. It's, like, uh, I don't even know, between, like, 65000 and 70000 a year. And, I mean, I guess the bottom line of it is, I really don't think about YouTube for the money, but for me, it is, like, a full-time job, you know what I'm saying? Like, while I'm in college. And since you guys know, I was on the lightweight rowing team last year, and I quit this fall. It's allowed me to, like, work a lot more on YouTube and work with brands that I really love and just put a lot more time into, like, bettering my content. So while you might be upset when I'm, like, posting a sponsored video, also just keep in mind, A, I love the brand. B, if you had the opportunity to work with Pantene and Neutrogena, like, you would. And C, it's helping pay my tuition. From here on out, I'm going to be paying for my tuition for college, and you know, I feel really, really lucky and blessed that I'm able to do that because I know so many people can't and I'm not trying to be intensive at all. Like, so many people can't even afford to go to college. Like, I'm so grateful that I'm able to be here and I'm so grateful that I'm able to support myself. I think that's, like, really lucky and really special only being 19. So if you guys get upset and are saying, like, oh my gosh, Gretchen's just in it for the money or she's doing a sponsored video, like, just know also if any of the other things I just told you don't matter, like, it's literally for my education. Like, I'm not going to, like, go blow this money, like, going out. Like, I'm paying for my tuition tomorrow, actually. Wait, what's today? Today is December 14th. Tuition is due December 16th. So I'm paying for my tuition tomorrow. Do you know what I'm saying? So 
anyway, just keep that in mind. And I know people have said in my vlogs before, they're like, you don't need to address hate, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think that's really hate. That's just kind of like a general feeling that I get from my comments and that people get like kind of angry with and I just want to be like so open and honest with you guys like yes I do sponsored videos I love working with brands that I love working with and if they're willing to pay me to show products that I already love to you guys like it's a win-win and it's helping me pay my way through college and hopefully being able to graduate without debt you know what I'm saying okay sorry that was like a long rant but anyway I gotta get back to stats and like maybe finishing some more levels of best fiends because I'm just obsessed and like you know what I mean for example for best fiends like maybe I'll reach out to them and be like hey do you want to work together on a video coming soon because I like love their game and I know I'll get comments of people being like upset or being like you're selling out or, like everyone does best fiends and like I know a lot I've actually seen a lot of videos where people like sponsor are sponsored by best fiends and maybe they don't like it as much as me but I'm telling you I literally play like every day and so does my dad and like whatever I'm not selling out and I'm gonna always stay true to like my values and who I am and when it does get too businessy and too fishy for me and too about the money I'm just gonna be like no and I also want to let you know I know I said this in my truth about sponsorships video I say no to so many brands I would say the majority I'm like no I, I don't want to do it because I'm only gonna do ones that I really really like and coffees and kitchen spices and stuff like that I'm just not gonna work with because that is just not true to who I am and true to like my content on my channel and what I do so, I feel like people have asked this question a lot too recently, and you know what, actually, I'm gonna find the video of, sorry, the rant continues, but I'm gonna find the video where Nikki Blackheader talks about how much she makes, because I've seen her videos before, and I like, love her, and I love how she's, like, so into, like, lifting and fitness and stuff, and honestly, she's, like, such an inspiration, I, like, love watching her videos, and I haven't had really time to, like, watch them recently, because I've been trying to study for finals or procrastinating playing this scenes, but, um, I saw the other day she made a video where she literally just said, flat out this is how much money I make on YouTube and I feel like it's such a weird thing like no one talks about it and I feel like everyone kind of wonders like how much money does YouTubers make like blah 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 and like I don't want to tell you exactly how much I make and I'm not even really sure because it changes a lot like as she said in her video it's literally like all on views on your videos so she like flat out said how much she makes like I think she said for her it's between like six or seven thousand and like ten thousand a month depending on how many videos she posts and how many views they get and stuff and obviously that's way more than me because her channel is a lot bigger than mine I wish that pay secrecy wasn't such like a thing in today's society but that's just how it is and it's funny because we were talking about it in my law class the other day a lot about how pay transparency really just helps out the workplace but I mean that's different than obviously like being on YouTube it's not like traditional like office setting you know but I'm gonna link her video down below if I can find it because I know you probably do wonder how much youtubers make and obviously I don't make as much as her but I mean what I will tell you I don't want to tell you a number because I feel like people get so weird about it but what I will tell you is that if I'm smart about my money I will come out of Boston University debt-free and having paid from here on out by myself so yeah, if that gives you an idea. I guess that being said, I would love to see pay secrecy stop being such a thing because pay transparency, like we were talking about in my law class, like I just said, has really helped like office settings and stuff and it makes people feel more like appreciated. Knowing what your colleagues make and stuff, I just makes you feel a lot more like at ease because people are always gonna like wonder, you know, you probably like wonder how much your colleagues make. And I don't know if it's ever gonna get to that point like on YouTube or even like accepted in society, but I think that would be such a great thing and maybe make the whole conversation about salaries and wages and stuff more comfortable and less uncomfortable if that makes sense but it's you know it's still so weird for me too because I feel like bringing up your salary and how much money you make is still so kind of like taboo and it's I don't know if that's the right word and it's not it's just not really like tactful you know I feel like in most instances like I'm not gonna be like I make this much and you don't want to be like bragging or like be like weird like for me like only a handful of people that I like really trust know how much I make and people that help me with like finances and stuff, but okay, anyway, I keep talking way too long. I, yes. <laughs> I don't remember why, but I suck. Yeah. I really wish I would have gone, but I'm really glad I went this year. No, I'm glad you came. Oh no, the lift driver is over there. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> guys my aunt was in Africa do you feel really like cultured and like changed yes. I feel like I feel like so like changed you're gonna be cultured when you go to I know it's gonna be life-changing I hope that's Let's the hope goal she makes it up the mountain. Hope she yeah die. I'm she literally gonna die no, yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, it was a mess. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> But you know. Ray Lott. So, I mean, what? I am like Ray Lott. I am the Ray Lott. That's yeah. so close to me. There's always like Ew, get your yeah. feet away. <laughs> You're on my bed. Night, thanks for watching. Study.